minutes. Today I'm gonna to be showing you something really cool, how to create a quiz in Google Forms. And uh, this works whether you're using a Windows, a Mac, or a Chromebook. It's great for educators or for even for other types of people. I'll show you how it works. A quick disclaimer, what you see here may look a little bit different for you as Google updates the software and you are responsible for following terms and rules set by Google as well as local re regulations. So anyways, let's get started here. This is the Google Chrome browser and this is where I usually start when I'm creating a new form. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the new button in Google Drive, click it, so hover over more, then hover over this little arrow next to Google Forms and select from a template. It's important to do that. You do not want to you don't you do not want to start with an ordinary um, blank blank Google Forms template because the quiz features won't work and there's special quiz features. So, anyways, in the template gallery, um, if if you see something like this, you're, if, for instance, if, if you're using uh, Google Forms through a school organization, if you see this, go to General and you should see these templates and just scroll down. There's all kinds of different choices here. What we're interested in is blank quiz, but just to let you know, some of these other ones work in a similar way. Like I know assessment actually has some of the features I'm about to show you, but let's just start with blank quiz. And so here's the situation. I'm creating a quiz for the kids, uh, basically testing geography. So I'm gonna call it, uh, you know, grade three geography kit, geography, uh, New York State. Okay, and maybe you could add some instructions here, like uh, each each question is worth five points, five points, uh, and then you could maybe throw throw a little throw them a little loop, like you know, multiple, uh, or actually let's just keep it pretty simple. Each question is worth five points. I leave it at that, um, and then you could say contact uh, Mrs. Smith if you have any questions. Okay, um, and. One way you can get started with this, if it's a quiz, is you can actually just start uh, typing out the text here. So for the first question, you might say, you know, what is the capital of New York? Okay. Um, but what I'm going to show you actually is a quicker way of doing things, and I recommend doing this, and that is creating the questions first in the in the uh, the whole form, not the form, just like the the answers to the question in Google Sheets. Google Sheets is a spreadsheet program, and as I showed in another video, you can actually copy and paste the answers and just paste them right into Google Forms. So, so I've already created my questions here. I have three questions and I have the answers, the potential answers here. I'm gonna just copy that. So basically what I'm doing is I'm selecting the first city, Boston, and then I'm uh, holding down the shift key and then the down arrow key until I get all of them highlighted. And then I'm either hitting uh, Control C in a Chromebook or a Windows PC or Command C if you're using a Mac. That copies it. Then I'm flipping over to the to my uh, Google form, and then where it says option one, make sure that it says uh, multiple choice, or I think they give check boxes as well. Just do multiple choice, and then put your answers. Now you be one, you may be wondering, well, okay, that's great, you just pasted in this text, but how does Google know if it's the right answer, or you know, do I have to go through each one of the responses myself and figure it out? And the answer is no. There's an answer key. Click on that. It's in the bottom. First of all, you can set the number of points. So I'm gonna set this as five points, as I said up here in the instructions. And then you select which is the correct answers. So note that it says answers. There's only one answer here, uh, it's Albany. But later on, we'll take a look at one that has some more answers. And then I highly recommend you make this required. And what that will do, if your students um, skip, the question, skip the question, they'll, they'll actually be forced to go back to give at least some answer um, before they can submit the answers. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's go to the second one. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna copy and paste here. How many boroughs are in New York City? I just copied that, paste that there, and then I'm just going to uh, copy all of these numbers, same trick, and paste them in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, click on the answer key. Set it as five points, and then the answer is five. Click done. Click required. Okay, let's do another one. Now this one's gonna be a little bit different. Go back here, which city is located on a lake? And those of you who are familiar with New York geography might know the obvious one, but there's also a less obvious one too. I'm gonna paste that in. Okay, I'll go to the answer key five points, and then note that 
there is there are two answers to this buffalo and plattsburgh okay make that required now one thing i highly recommend before you send this out uh, first of all if you want to you can dress it up a little bit so you can choose an image um just kids you know might do something like this maybe make it a little bit more interesting for them especially if they're younger ones it chooses a theme color um, I don't rec so first of all in Google Forms you can't you can't uh, mess around with the form the uh, fonts too much but maybe for you might do something like this playful font okay click off that uh, and then your uh, one other thing I recommend doing go to go to the settings icon it's this uh, gear icon on the top make sure that you set this up properly I've seen lots of people make mistakes with this because they restrict it to users or they don't restrict it to users so in your school like if you're having everybody log into a Google Classroom, you might need to restrict it to users in your school group, which is um, you know whatever school you're using. Here it's showing my company name, um, and if I was just, if I was distributing this to the public, I might uncheck this box, uh, so anybody could anybody could use it. You can also do things like limit to one response. Oh, and you know what? I forgot a really basic thing. <laughs> how am I, how am I going to even know? Uh, how am I going to even know who the people are? You know what is your name? Oops. <laughs> All right. So you want to make sure that you, you do this stuff um, because otherwise you might make a, a bad mistake. All right. So uh, I think we're done here. Let's click send as you can email it to people. Uh, what I usually do actually is just create a link. You can shorten it if you want to copy it and then you can paste it into a, another browser or send it via social media or email or whatever. So anyways, let's pretend that I'm clicking on this email in another browser. I'm another, I'm a student and here it is. Grade three geography, New York state. Each question is worth five points. Contact Mrs. Smith if you have questions. What's your name? Um, I'm going to say uh, John Arbuckle. <laughs> Some of you may know who that is. What is the capital of New York? So, all right, I think it's New York city. How many boroughs are in New York? I know that from a song. It's five. And what city is located on the lake? Oh, well that's easy. That would be Buffalo. All right, so let's click Submit. Okay, check this out. You can view the score because Google automatically calculated it. So the total points, you got 10 out of 15. And uh, I'll explain something here. So first question, got that wrong. It's not New York City. Correct answer is Albany. How many boroughs? Five, that's correct. And this one is actually, there's two possible answers and it doesn't, it doesn't give you like two and a half points if you only get one of them. Uh, so you might want to think through how, how you set that up. But basically, that's the fundamentals of creating a very simple uh, quiz in Google Forms. If you have you know, more questions about getting started with Google Forms, uh, one place you can go is you can check my book. I cover the basics of Google, Google Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Forms, as well as Sites. Uh, but also, I've created a lot of videos and posted them on my YouTube channel. Just go to this page, in30minutes.com, and then click on the uh, YouTube, YouTube icon. You can also you know, subscribe to my channel right now. I'd appreciate it if you enjoyed this video, if you liked it too, let other people know about it. Uh, but basically, those are the basis of creating a quiz in uh, Google Forms. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.